The winner will be presented now. Uh, I'm, I'm quite certain that it has been a, a very difficult task for the members of the jury to identify this uh, winning team, and I would now like uh, to ask the um, members of the jury who are present here tonight and their chair, Ute Weiland, to join me on stage. And um, Ute Weiland will um, introduce us uh, to the work of the jury this afternoon without lifting the secret at this point who um, is the winner at the end. So please give a big hand to the um, members of the jury who worked really hard. Thank you very much, Professor Wiesler. Ladies and gentlemen, dear finalists of the World Health Startup Track competition, it's a great honor for me to represent the jury here tonight. We were very impressed by the diversity and the inventiveness of all the projects. And there were projects who want to improve diagnostic tools, others want to heal cancer or lower child mortality. We also saw new digital tools for rehabilitation and solutions for logistics in medicine. There was even a project with a unique marketing strategy which could also be copied by others. And therefore, the decision was difficult and we had a controversial discussion this afternoon. But finally, we decided to give the award to a project with, which has a large impact on many people everywhere in the world. The solution can be used by children as well as by elderly people. And it enables those affected barrier-free access and therefore social participation. It empowers them to live an in independent life. And in a further stage of development, we believe that this solution will be accessible for all layers of society because it will be not so expensive. We also think that this great idea can make use of the benefits of the award. And that's why we want to support it with a special access to the World Health Summit and the M8 Alliance Network. And the inventors will receive an exclusive coaching from Flying Health, one of the leading companies, builders for health startups in Germany. And with this award, we hope to open new perspectives to a large number of people, but also to the inventor of this project. And now I hand over the envelope to Professor Wiesler, who will announce the winner. Well, before we do that, do we have all the teams on stage? No. So I'd like to ask all the 10 participating teams on stage as well, and the presidents. That is the ceremony which was agreed upon, Detlef. <laughs> Many people on stage, but a lot of brain power. So, everybody here. So, the winner is from India, Illuminati, and Mr. Rupan Sharma. This is the coordinator of the team.
think everybody, everybody is curious now, and uh, we should ask Rupan Sharma to briefly repeat his pitch on stage now uh, to tell us what Illuminati is all about. Uh, hi, everyone. First of all, thank you so much, uh, the organizers of the World Health Summit, the jury, and for all the people who have met during this journey of building Manoview and Illuminati, for making this a reality and making my dreams come true. I wouldn't be here had it not been for people like you, people like them, and receiving this award. Thank you. Uh, Three years ago, while researching colorblindness, I had this profound moment when I thought to myself what it would be like to live in complete darkness. Empathizing this with a blindfold gave me a very scary experience. I then decided to head to a blind school in Delhi where I spent 15 days only to realize that for somebody who is living in poverty in India, the impact of visual impairment is extremely serious. There exists 85% unemployability rate because more than 90% of this community doesn't know how to read Braille worldwide. In my native country, India, less than 1% of the population knows how to read Braille. For the rest, 99% of them, there is no source of literacy. My team wants to change this. And our mission is to help 100 million of the poorest, 300 million visually impaired people to read. And for that, we have built Manoview, which is the world's first intelligent wearable visual assistant for the visually impaired. This is a multi-utility wearable glove that you wear on your hand, you point your finger towards any kind of text, and it reads out to you whatever is written over there. This is a very inexpensive technology which is meant to replace the Braille language, and it enables the visually impaired people to read printed text. Manoview is a cognitive learning device. This device can help people with dyslexia, people who want to learn a new language, people recovering from a brain trauma, or even people who want a distraction-free reading experience, uh, such as people uh, who have ADHD. We have tested our system with more than 800 users across 12 organizations in India, and we have received a great feedback from them. One of the feedbacks that we received from this audience was the cost. When I built the prototype, when I took it to them, they said, it's great, the device is revolutionary, but what about the cost? Uh, will we be able to afford this thing? And I just asked them for some time. And I just told them, you know, give me some more time and I will work this out. So after continuous research and development, we have been able to bring this cost down a lot. We are at $60 right now. We want to bring this down to $28. And we want this device to be accessible in the least income settings in the world so that we can have the maximum impact. So we are covering a broad spectrum of people who are from the least desperate to the most desperate. And we want to empower as many people as we can with Man of You. And thank you so much, you know. This is a great honor. I, I didn't really expect to win, and since we're all uh, in the healthcare space, so each of us here is a winner. But thank you so much. This is such a big honor. Thank you. Congratulations. Good choice, I would say. Yep. <laughs> Just one. Uh, luckily, so this was the first time ever in my life that I have my brother who was there when I was presenting. And, you know, the first thing that he told me that you've changed. And, you know, it is the experiences, it is the time that I spent with the community and the people that have shaped my life. I didn't, it wasn't out of any of my creative desires to become an inventor or a scientist, but it was, you know, I just wanted a stable life. But with the experiences, I just have one takeaway that believe in your dreams. The most underrated human quality that we have is the ability to bear your pain and be hopeful. These are the two qualities. If you have this, you can change the world. And thank you for my, to my brother who really taught me this and for believing in me before anybody else believed in me. Thank you. Thank you. So. Finally, your, your younger brother is doing it, huh? <laughs>